We all have that friend who can wolf down a greasy cheeseburger at every meal and somehow stays in great shape. Some people seem to have all the luck, don't they? And this includes weight loss. It's no secret that fast food is terrible for you. It's highly processed, fatty, and incredibly unbalanced in all the wrong ways in the food pyramid. Yet being trim and slim is reliant on so many more factors than just what you eat. Believe it or not, it is possible to stay fit and eat trashy, and vice versa. Eat healthy, but gain weight. So today, we're discussing two people with two very different eating habits. That friend of yours who can eat fast food and stay thin, and on the other extreme, the friend who eats very little but can't seem to lose weight. Let's start off with how genetic makeup plays a role in how our bodies process foods and store fats. The three main body types are endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. Endomorphs are characterized by a larger waistline, bigger bones, and store fats much easier than other body types. For people of this body type, right off the bat, losing weight can be much more difficult. Mesomorphs are characterized by broad shoulders, a tiny waist, gain muscle easier, and have medium-sized bones. With this body type, their metabolism levels are naturally quite good. Ectomorph is the final body type, and it's characterized by a slim figure with longer limbs, thinner bones, while also having a higher metabolism. Muscle building comes more difficult to ectomorphs, but they also don't store fats as easily as the other body types. Now, before you think that type Typing the human body is as easy as just three categories, think again. The human body just isn't that simple. In reality, it's more like a sliding scale between the types, and people can absolutely be an ectomorph in some areas and a mesomorph in others. These body types are just your starting point. They don't dictate your life. Anyone can get into great shape if they eat properly proportioned meals and exercise. But what about your first friend here? How are they able to eat fast food whenever they want and not gain any weight? Well, right off the bat, they may be of the mesomorph or ectomorph body types, and they don't store fat easily. But here's another thing to consider. How are they eating the rest of the week? You very well could have caught your friend on their cheat day, where their usual diet goes out the window. Believe it or not, having just one day a week where you eat whatever you want can actually be really healthy for you. So bring on the ice cream, sloppy joes, everything. These high-calorie fatty meals once a week help maintain your metabolism. Frequent exercisers know that one day where you boost your calorie intake helps replenish your body, thus the next week you'll perform better in the gym. Who'd have thought? But wait, maybe your friend isn't a gym rat. Maybe they also claim to hate running. How are they still able to eat fast food? They very likely might have high NEAT, or non-exercise activity thermogenesis, and burn those calories right off. These activities consist of anything that we do daily to burn calories that isn't breathing, maintaining body temperature, keeping your heart running, or things like that. So activities like cooking, cleaning, gardening, walking to the subway, playing fetch with spot, all these things burn calories. So to sum it up, if your friend has high NEAT in their routine, exercises regularly, or is of the ecto or mesomorph body types, they can eat that fast food carefree. A real life example of this is Anne Marie Martin, a 42 year old mother from London whose friends claim she ate fast food three to four times a week and stayed in incredible shape. Scientists followed her for a few days and watched her routine. They saw that Anne didn't overeat at meals, spaced her meals throughout the day, didn't eat at night or emotionally eat, didn't drink alcohol or have a sweet tooth, and she used to be a dancer, likely the mesomorph body type. There was no magic reason she wasn't gaining weight, it just so happened that three of her meals during the week happened to be fast food. But hold on, we haven't discussed your other friend, the one that will skip meals, or when they do eat, just as a power bar. Why isn't the weight going away? Simple. Under eating is extremely bad for your metabolism. It lowers your metabolism, which means you won't burn calories as easily, and on top of that, you'll be more hungry later, and are likely to overeat at other meals. Add to this, if you don't exercise, your metabolism will be even lower, and you also won't have burned those calories in the gym. It won't matter that you skipped a meal because your body won't want to burn that fat for energy. And finally, if you're at a standstill with losing that weight, check your sleep habits. If you aren't getting a good six to eight hours of sleep, this can increase cravings for carbohydrate-rich foods and also alter your hormones, which increase your blood pressure, weight, and glucose amounts. So if you want to lose weight, Brainiacs, lie down and go to sleep. But remember, the best way to lose weight is the tried and true method we've all heard. Healthy proportion meals, follow the food pyramid, and exercise. It's just calories in, calories out. And don't graze on snacks throughout the day. Space your meals, and you'll get there. And that's how your friend gets away with their fast food meals during the week. 
and your other friend can't seem to lose the weight. Partly genetics and partly if you're living a good and healthy lifestyle. Remember, your choices about your body do matter, and you can take control of your weight responsibly, which also means wolfing down a cheeseburger guilt-free every once in a while. Happy eating, Brainiacs.